Welcome everyone. Let's start the video. This is my main account. As you can see, I have changed my profile aesthetics. I will try to explain the codes and other things in this video. So first let's take a look at what all the websites we will be using first before I get started. Okay, so the first one is this guide, which you all must have been familiar with already. In this guide some codes are working and some are not working for me. So we will look at which codes are working and which are not. It seems like they are trying to move things around here and all as there are many changes. These are all the codes which I have used in creating my profile. So if you want the exact same outlet or just want to change colors and use it in your own account, you can just copy paste this. This is called GitHub. This is Pastebin and this codes here were really helpful to me. In editing some areas, and we will talk about this too and see which codes are useful. All these websites links will be given in description, check out the description later. And the last website is ChatGPT. We will be using this to make our codes. As you can see I have edited codes and everything here. First, let me show you how to change the background. I didn't show this in the last video as I thought it was very basic, but someone asked me in the comments how to change the BG. Click on the right side of your mouse and click on inspect in the options and you can inspect any element like this and you can use this to edit it. This step is for next part. So, I saw in the comments that, the code is showing in the bio instead. It might be because of you are not correctly typing the code. Add style and don't forget semicolon too. Let me show you what happens when we remove the style. It will appear in the bio instead. This code is to hide the public characters and show an alternative text on top of it. Okay, now don't forget semicolon and other important things. If the code is not working, just ask ChatGPT. So, the next thing is, how to create your own code. The first thing to is inspect the name of the bot card. Now that we have got this code here, note it down and we will use it and put it chat GPT and create our own code. So the code here is giving me the colors as based on my previous conversation with ChatGPT, so just tell ChatGPT about your own preferences.
So I copy pasted this in GitHub, you can just get it from here. The first thing we will learn is profile card codes. Here as you can see the no gradient for profile card is not working. And also no rounded corners code is also not working. So let's skip it. As you can see this code here, which helps us to center the PFP, username and our follower count, works perfectly. In this code, there is nothing much to explain. This code is just there to center the elements and do not mess with this code. Simply just copy and paste it in your edit CSS section. Here, the custom PFP shape mask has been moved to another section, we will discuss this later. Here, the next one is centered badges, this is to center the badges like Music Mania Creator and all. You can just copy paste this and don't mess with this code. This code here is there to just center our follow button. Now this part here is there to edit our follow button. We can edit our follow button to make it look like however we want. There in the code you can see content, there you can type anything you want in the place of text, like follow me, this is to change the text of the follow button. And under it, in place of color, you can add the color you want or you can add any gradient color too, just ask ChatGPT. And the next one is border, there you have to add the style of the border like dotted border or anything you like. And under that border radius, it is to decide how round the corners should be. If you don't want round corners for the follow button, you can add 0px simply or just keep adding the numbers until you are satisfied with the round corner. Here in the background color, you can add any color you want, pink, blue or any gradient color, it can be linear or radical gradient. Just ask ChatGPT in case you are adding gradients. And in the font place, you can type any font type you want. And repeat the same for the next one too. Be careful with the content thing cause I didn't check it. We have already tried this in our last video. It changes the preview text on the bot by not actually changing the color of the text. Add the color in the place of the color. Add any color you want. You can ask ChatGPT about the hex codes or RGB slash RGBA. We will discuss about the background color to the bot. Here we can see three types. Linear, radial, and solid color. A linear gradient is a smooth transition between two or more colors along a straight line while radical spreads in a circle. Solid color is just one simple plain color. For the gradient just add the gradient you want in the place of gradient. There below, we can see the reference links which you will help you in finding the right gradient for you. Here just add the hex code of the color you want. Recently I got a comment while making this video that and they said it's not working properly and I have checked it, it's not working. I can't do anything about it. This code is supposed to make our bots look transparent, this code works. But this code gives a tint of black color. Let's see how it looks in the profile in the upcoming video you will see how I inserted this code in my profile and how there is a black tint but we can see through it.
This is to edit the border of our bot card. I have just copy pasted this because I didn't want any border for my bot card. If you don't want it, remove it as they have instructed in the code. In the border width, this is to make our border thick or thin. Add any number you want. In the border style, you can add any style you want. Dotted, dashed, or solid. It's your wish. And in the place of color, add the color you want, your bot card color you want. Make it one solid color or gradient. This is to remove the soft corners of the bot card and you can just copy paste this. Don't mess with this code. In this code, this helps us to overlay the bot card with a solid color or gradient. As you can see on the screen, it will overlay the entire bot card that way. There are two types, one can give you one solid color or you can add gradient color. In solid color code, add color in the place of color, add your hex code. Add the opacity to whatever level you want. 10% to 90% your wish. And the same in the gradient code too. You can ask ChatGPT or you can refer to the links given in the page below the code. I think we have done this in our last video. This is the code for chat count ribbon color. This right here is called as chat count ribbon. You can edit it. As you saw it is in gradient color. You can do the same with your chat count ribbon. Just add a solid color or gradient color you want in the background color place. This code used to work and now it's not working but by inspecting elements and using ChatGPT you will be able to add it. But this code is not working though. This is the code for the line divider that the line beside the star. You can edit that one and this code works for me. Just edit it as it says. I'm sure you understood most of it by now and I don't have to explain everything. In detail. So there is nothing new in this to explain either. It is to edit the tags on the bot card. This is same as the previous ones. Just add color, border style, border color, thickness, and everything. This here is to customize the look of tags when you hover them. In the place of border, add your border style. And the background color of the tag in place of color. The transform is there to enlarge our tag. You can also add other transformations. You can ask ChatGPT for ideas or to add other transformation styles. We have completed profile card and bot card. Now about the profile page. I'm sure I don't have to explain everything to you in detail, but I will go through it very briefly. First one is page overlay. You can add one image or GIF to our background in PFP. Just add the image address or GIF address in the place of link. About the star for the footer, I have got no idea about this either. Now changing the public character text and box is not working but you can get it from my GitHub link. About the page doll, just add image link in place of link. About the total characters, just add your preferences and the same with everything else. Now let's go to GitHub. You can get codes from here which I used in my profile. First let's take a look at public characters. Here in the public characters text and box. The original text is hidden and add whatever you want in the context and adjust the everything else according to your preferences. But in the line height, don't change anything. I got this from paste bin. You can use these codes, I will provide the link in description both about this GitHub and Pastebin. If you want exact copy of my profile, you can just copy paste all these codes. 
in your edit CSS. That's all I want to explain to you guys in this video. You can create your own codes by inspecting elements and using ChatGPT and how to change Tell background see this as a and explain code. codes to you. If you have any share. doubts, please They're ask me in the comments.